Assalamu alaikum dear students. Today we'll have a lecture on chronic endometritis. Chronic endometritis is, as the name implies, is chronic inflammation of endometrium. So, Mr. Farooq, can you please tell me that what will be what will we see under microscope if it is chronic inflammation? Lymphocytes. Yes. We'll see lymphocytes. So this lymphocyte will differentiate between chronic endometritis and acute endometritis. Because in acute endometritis, there were a neutrophil. But there comes, but there comes a problem. Lymphocytes are also normally present in the endometrium. Lymphocytes are also normally present in the endometrium. Why? Because in the endometrium, as we know, that there are cyclical changes and when there is shedding of endometrium, there is some inflammation and lymphocytes naturally will be present in some endometrium. So by seeing just the lymphocyte, we will not be able to say that it is chronic endometritis. So if we magnify, if we magnify, we will also be able to see plasma cells. And when the plasma cells are visible, and when the plasma cells are visible, we will be able to definitively say that this is chronic endometritis. So, the definitive diagnosis of a chronic endometritis is based on plasma cells. But, uh, seeing a, a lot of lymphocytes, seeing a lot of lymphocytes can give us a clue toward chronic endometritis. Okay, now what are the causes of chronic endometritis? The causes of chronic endometritis, the... I, I will divide these causes into mild and severe. Let's say, let's say the, the endometritis scene, let's say the infiltrate scene is mild. If we are seeing mild infiltrate in our endometrium, so the cause can be IUD. Intrauterine devices. These intrauterine devices are these intrauterine intrauterine devices are put into the uterus and they normally creates and they normally creates chronic inflammation there. And due to this chronic inflammation, the environment becomes Spermy cycle. So, what is the mechanism of action of IUDs, intrauterine devices? The mechanism of action of IUDs is to create a chronic inflammation inside the endometrium, so the environment is spermicidal. So, if we are seeing a, a, a biopsy of endometrium which is having mild endometritis, mild chronic endometritis, so it can be some IUD installed. So the cause will be IUD. But if there is severe endometritis, if we are seeing a lot of lymphocytes, we are seeing a lot of plasma cell, then the cause can be pelvic inflammatory disease. Do you know what are the causes of pelvic inflammatory diseases from your microbiology? Pelvic inflammatory disease is caused by Nigeria, Venori, and Chlamydia, Trichomatis. 
So the two most common agents that causes a pelvic inflammatory disease is, are Neisseria gonorrhoeae and Chlamydia trichomatis. Another cause uh, that can cause severe endometritis is retaining product of conceptus. Retain product of conceptus. Retain product of conceptus will again serve as nidus for inflammation, and if this is kept for a long period of time, it will result in chronic endometritis. Now there can be a third cause, and that is and that is tuberculosis. I will try to explain this tuberculosis. Up till now, we have studied three causes of chronic endometritis. The number one was intrauterine device. The second one was the Neisseria gonorrhoeae and chlamydia trichomatis that leads to pelvic inflammatory disease. And the third one is uh, no. The third one was uh, um, product uh, product of conceptus. And the fourth one is tuberculosis. If there is tuberculosis, this tuberculosis will lead to granulomatous inflammation. But to have tuberculosis, this tuberculosis can be disseminated. TB. And what is the other name for disseminated TB? Midori tuberculosis. If the tuberculosis is disseminated tuberculosis, that is TB is flowing in our blood and it is disseminated, it will come towards the endometrium and as it comes towards the endometrium, it will cause granulomatous inflammation there. So in the biopsy, we will be able to see granulomas. And what is the characteristic feature of granulomas? We will see epithelite cells. We will see epithelite cells and and giant cell, Langhan cells. So, and this is also known as granulomatous endometritis. Granulomatous endometritis. So, uh, it is due to midbrain tuberculosis or disseminated tuberculosis. This leads to granulomatous inflammation in the endometrium, and this granulomation in, uh, and this leads to granuloma formation. And the characteristic feature of granuloma formation is the presence of epithelial cell in Langhan cell. Uh, so now we we'll come towards our last point that this this TB, this uh, granulomatous endometritis, is not alone endometritis. It mostly is associated with this mostly is associated with sarpengitis and peritonitis. Granulum this uh, granulomatous endometritis is not mostly present alone. It's associated with granulomatous sarcangitis and granulomatous peritonitis. So let's recall our discussion about chronic endometritis. In chronic endometritis, we'll see lymphocytes, but lymphocytes are normally present. So the d definitive diagnosis is based upon the presence of plasma cells. And uh, in the chronic inflammation, what are the causes? IUDs, uh, pelvic inflammatory disease, TB. And the product of conceptus and TB present as granulomatous endometritis and it's associated with sarcangitis and peritonitis. To end this video, I'll show you two diagrams of chronic endometritis and uh, granulomatous endometritis. This first diagram, this is a diagram of chronic endometritis. And in this diagram, we can see these regions and these and these. These are uh, these are lymphocytes and if we uh, and if we magnify these lymphocytes we will also be able to see some um, we will also be able to see some what plasma cells and this plasma cell will be a characteristic feature of chronic endometritis 
Now coming toward this uh, second diagram. This diagram is a, a, a chronic, it is a diagram of chronic uh, granulomatous endometritis. And here we can see a granuloma. And this granuloma, there is central caseation. And this caseation, this is also associated with the presence of some epithelite cell and the giant cells of the Langhans. Thank you.